Who's there? Welcome to Farming Simulator 17, Lone Oak Farm. Today I plan to sell some equipment and probably to buy some equipment. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this going to want to take over there. I want to put that in the lead. Okay, and then, well, actually, maybe I'll put this in the lead. This might be the slowest. Okay, this is one piece of equipment, the sprayer. I think I told you I don't like to use a sprayer in Farming Simulator 17. Because it seems like it's just uh, so wide that it will tend to catch on fence posts and trees. So we are going to sell it at the dealership. Unfortunately, it's a brand new piece of equipment, but we still will take a big hit in depreciation. That is one thing, you know, I've used the Seasons mod, and that, uh, you know, if you sell equipment when it's new, uh, or hasn't been used, I should say that, you know, if it's got zero hours on it, um, you get the full price back. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. Once again, I'm gonna. I think I know where that trailed mower is. Oh, that was good. Did a bunch of damage there. Okay. <coughs> well, I'm doing well this morning. Let's go look for that trailed mower. Okay, I'm gonna do just one thing here. There it is. I'll probably sell that auger wagon, but I'm going to wait. Uh, I just want to see if the combines can reach over the side of the tipper. Follow me there. Oh, hey. This tractor. Hmm. That is really odd. I'm going to set it back a little bit. I don't know why it pulled around like that, but we will see. And I'm going to go around. And set the cruise control. 
Here we go with our new tractor. And I guess I'll try to look on the way. Uh, I think we only had two bales when we had that attempt at baling the roadsides, cutting and baling the roadsides on our way to the shop. You know, the, we're supposedly going 24 miles per hour, but I really don't. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it to me. Maybe our speedometer's off. I don't know. Anyway. I had noticed that they had reset the hours on this. They apparently did quite a bit of work. Uh, oh, I know why they reset them. Part of the reason was, in all the work they did, they had to replace the hour meter. Um, that's why actually that hour, as I told you, was, was an estimate. Yeah, there's another bale there, and probably we'll look up the road down here, but I uh, out. I don't think there was another bale up there, and I don't think we got one all the way down, because it was just awful. Here we go. Oh no, there's another bale here. Well, so we did get three bales on our uh, attempt at uh, mowing and baling the roadsides. Here we go, slowly rolling along. I'm not sure here. This place on the right, there was that was one that had talked to me about mowing that but I'm not sure you know they talked about me mowing it and then they also talked about maybe just trying to sell part of that field so I don't know what I'll do there and it's the same thing here but I'll just have to see when I get to it how that all works Okay, here we go. Slow down here. see where things are at here and I can't remember oh that's not gonna work a little bit. Now, let's go back here. Okay, here we go. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, we're going to get a good amount of money for that. That put us over $100,000.
uh, kind of a Fiat, and I want to get something for the truck. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Well. Pushing the wrong button again. I want to customize this, and I want to trailer hitch. I'm going to go ahead and put wide tires on this. Main color is white. Hmm. That's interesting. What I am going to do is make the rims white. With the trailer hitch, the wide tires, which always seem to work better. And I'm going to do that for 2500 Apparently it uh, interfered with the follow me on both of these. Okay. I bet this will put us back up over a hundred thousand dollars. do is um, I think I'm going to take this right out set it to follow the Fiat and then let me see I want to buy a loading wagon Not a loading wagon. Well, keep pushing the wrong buttons. I want a tipper. Okay. This uh, Flygel, and this is an auto load trailer, and I have done a lot of loading of bales, and you're not going to want to watch me do this. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this. It's relatively cheap, actually. <coughs> I'm going to put a trailer hitch on this, too, and I'm going to put wide tires on here. It's going to cost me $1,300 more, but I think that that will be a good idea. Okay, now, I am going to get out of there, hop into here, and go back around and hook that trailer on. Now, I'm not going to go through their garage. Probably shouldn't have done that, but for some reason I was thinking I would have to get the uh, trailer hitch on here from there. Okay, hitch that on, and I'm going to pull this out. So it'll be. And 
I'm going to look and see square bales. And what I want are a round bale, a 1.3 meter, I believe that's the correct size. And I'm going to set that up. And I think it'll be ready to go. And then we'll run around, get the rest of our train. Just a little bit around here. Let's see what this will do. This is really odd with this. You know, the, this road tractor did the same thing. I think it followed okay once we got going. Let me take a look here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna go okay, but it starts out on, off to the side there. Oh, I'm going to have to watch it because, of course, this is uh, a lot faster. So I'm just going to have to go a little ways and then stop. Because if you get too far ahead, the follow me will not work. It just stops. It shuts off. Let me explain how this uh, trailer works. It somehow modifies the gravity. So if you've got it set for certain items and it can determine which items those are, you know, like round bales, square bales, etc., etc., and it will actually cause that to just essentially kind of jump off, off the, up off the ground onto the trailer. Well. I'll tell you with this trailer, um, it was a farmer by the name of Mr. Sanchez that had it, and it worked okay for a while, <coughs> but something went wrong, and he actually had a straw bale when he went to load it. Of course this is an experimental thing and it actually instead of putting it on his trailer it flew up and it came down in Amherst, Massachusetts. Now it worked out okay <coughs> because the city parks department they actually went out and got it and nobody was hurt you know when it came down. They went out and got it and they used to mulch uh, where they had done some work in one of the parks. So it worked out okay, but Mr. Sanchez, it upset him so much that he just didn't want it. So he basically, the dealership took it back and gave him the money for the trailer back and that's why actually this was a pretty cheap price that I bought this for uh, because they had taken it back now it essentially it's almost like it's unused you know it's in beautiful condition so anyway that's how it works and that's what it happened and that's why you know I just get quite tired of loading bales and that's why uh, I've got this uh, trailer.
Okay, now, what I'm going to do, I don't think we'll have time to do much of this, but I'm going to take us over to where we, you know, did all those bales. And I'm going to put the bale wrapper on here because I know I'm going to want to wrap more of those bales. I'm not going to want all of the... I guess I'll have to hit the wall there. You know what I bet I did? I bet I, uh, oh well. And I'm just going to pull this tractor in. Get it in the uh, shed here. I left that more right out, didn't I? I'll back this around into here. And I'm going to run this around, get this going towards the fields here, and we'll drive up there. Maybe we'll even get over there this morning. Oh, jeez. I do not like that stone there. I've run it over it bunches of times. Well, maybe not bunches. It may be more like twice. we go. We'll go up the hill and across and probably pick up a bale or two that we've got along the way. And I forgot. I didn't check to see if that trailer would have to be restarted. I'm suspecting it does because they probably wouldn't want something like that. Um, you know, just starting up inadvertently. So, we're going to pull up here by the oak, and that's going to be all for today. And we're just going to stop here, get out. Well, I really appreciate your watching. You can like, subscribe, or comment below. And I hope you have a blessed day.